All right, now all of the cat is dry except for the area we just did here. So the little first strokes are just, let me have you see them. See that? Just a little bit now and then. And then right under here. Now, switch back to the black. And the black is back. Now, along the back of the hair of the ear, we want to go ahead and get some of these strokes going out onto the background. So this is a hairy little cat, furry little cat. Right along the side. And you may want to bring it down a bit. See how much longer I'm making notes? That's because this is a long-haired cat. I don't even know what kind of a cat uh, she is or he is. Um, a student of mine sent this in. Such a beautiful cat we had to do it. And it was long-haired, and I didn't have enough long-haired. So I wanted to make sure that everybody sees how these long hairs are done. Okay, so there we go. Now let's take a look at the photo and head on back to the palette grab a little bit more of the black and guess what we're going to keep giving a little bit of the hair right up there and then the same on the ear okay and over here as well if it's not coming out well then that means you need to reload with both medium and a bit of the dark I like Fancy. She's the kind of cat that would sit on my office table. Okay, right now the only one that sits on my office table are bugs. Okay, now we have a little more color coming down here because there's kind of a ridge that's occurring right here. See? So there's two ways of doing that ridge. One is this way. And then, let's grab a little bit of the lighter gray color. See that? Okay. And now we're going to bring in some hairs. See, just like that. Just a little bit. Doesn't matter. Just a little bit. Just so you see it. Okay. Well, fancy is turning out to be pretty fancy, isn't she? Okay, let's go ahead and step back and see what we've got. All right, next thing I'm going to do is grab a little bit more of the medium and some dark. You see, let me show you what's happening at uh, Fancy's eyes. I kind of went over it quickly on the left side. You see that lighter black and the darker one? Well, we've got to do the same thing here, all right? Because what happens is this pups out and it's a little brighter because that's where the light's hitting first. But the shadow behind the eyeball, eye socket, okay, is darker. So now the next thing, look at the mouth. It's coming straight up here. That's the jaw. So we want to have another shadow there. And furthermore, what I want to do is right along the ridge of both here and all the way around. I want to make sure I have some of this black color. The reason being is when we add the white, we want to make sure we have enough color to merge the two together like they should be. All righty. Now, Let's take a look at the photo. See how her hair on the right side is just wisping out? And, and they're longer. They're longer than the short hair cats you've seen before. So we'll go ahead, grab a little medium, because we need this a little more fluid. All right, well, here it is. It's an easy enough stroke. We're just going to go stroking like that. See? There it is. Oh, how nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, this is looking good, except we need a little bit even longer hair. See that? I'm gonna give that feeling. Oh, she's an angel. She's got a lot of hair. All right, see that? That's what we want to do. And you can even do this as you come down on that patch. Okay, so we've got the shadow we need here. Okay, and all we need to do is put a few more of the gray lines in. I'm using the number four brush. In fact, I'm using two of them. All right, here we go. There we go. I just want to give some credibility to the hair strokes on the side, okay? And I'm doing that with just some light, 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 light. Did I say light? Gray strokes. Now, I'm not sure you can see it. So, I'm gonna add just a little bit more white to the gray mixture. I wanna make sure you can see it. It's subtle, okay? Gotta tell you this, this is a black cat, so this is gonna be subtle. All right, there we go. And it's coming right down around. See that? Wish you could see it better, but you know, it is black. All right. Not short strokes, long. See how long I'm going? All right, now we have the hairs coming up into the ears. So we'll go ahead and grab a little more of the medium and the black. Okay, and we've got, oh, there we go. See that? And then put in these long strokes. Go do the same thing on the other side. All right, long strokes. All righty, now what I wanna do is work the body. Okay, let's grab some more of the Payne's Gray, burn number, Payne's Gray, burn number. And let's mix it all together to get that nice dark black color. Need a little more of that paint gray. All right, let's go right in here. Now, I have a very thick color. Let me show you what I want to do. Look down here at the legs, okay? I want to make sure that both sides have a lot of shadow. So see how I'm doing that? And just fading, 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 fading. And come back here, okay? And then fade, 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 fade about halfway. We're not going to see too much hair action, if you will. And then underneath here, we have another. Where the leg from behind. Okay, see how that separates the legs? Now, let's get a lot thinner black. A lot thinner. See that? Really, really thin. Okay, so I'm going to come right along here next to the blaze, and these are long strokes. I cannot overemphasize that. Long strokes. Right up here, long strokes, long strokes, long strokes. Now we'll get to going outside, it's okay. Then I want long, long strokes, using that thin color. <clears throat> there we are. We come right down to the foot. Okay. Let's come around to the back side of the cat. Again, lots of medium. Very, very thin. See that? Coming right around the blaze. A little more of the medium. Now, I like using the word medium because you can choose anything you want, and it's medium, okay? So if it's uh, 
oil painting medium, it's medium. If it's uh, modified linseed oil for what we're doing today, then it's medium. Or if it's water, it's medium. See how that terminology works well? Okay, so there we are. Long strokes. See that? Now I'm going down on the right side. Leave the left side alone. Leave in between alone. We've already done that. Okay. And let me grab a little bit more of the thick color. You see we got this leg, but this right here is in the back. And so this is the front part of the cat coming through. All right, now let's go back to the medium. Grab some more of it. Show you how you can make some fur, long haired fur. Okay, so we're just going to come in here. See that? That cat is hairy. All right, hairy, furry. That's probably a better word. So we'll just go ahead and break up this edge into the back. It's important to do it with the dark first and then we'll put in the highlights okay now as we come down the body and start into the leg area we'll find that it's not quite as long so we'll just go ahead come back here and yeah there we go All right, that's looking good. Long strokes, long strokes, long strokes. All righty, that's looking pretty good. Let's see if anything looks out of place. Maybe right here. Sometimes you have to stroke these over a little bit on that goes into the background because the background may or may not mix well with your uh, paint gray and brown. So that may mean you'd have to hit it a couple of times. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, that's easy enough. Keep doing this, keep repeating it. Now, remember, this one's all part of the, the hairs up front. This is the hairs in the backlight, and they're not going to be that big. But we have to keep these up here prominent. Sometimes you have to fight a hard edge here, and the only way you can do that is just keep doing those little furry strokes. Now this is going over the front, but we won't see much of it, so we'll just go ahead. There we go, just like that. Now, I'll set that brush down, and I'm going to need a little bit more fur color. The less number of fur strokes you can make on the dark, the better. You want just enough to give the indication, all right? I want more paint gray than brown. Maybe no brown, which is a good thing. Yeah, it's always a good thing, no brown. There we are. And we have medium on there, so I'm not going to put any more. All right, now, down, see this stroke? It's like a reverse S or a forward S or uh, a reverse S would be. You just go ahead and get free in terms of, see? Now, you may have to add a little bit of medium just to get the paint to transfer you won't know that until you touch. See? You try to use as few of these strokes as you can. Just enough to say, hey, I have a hairy body. All right, isn't that great? Yeah, works out just very easy. Now, let's go to the back side. Mm. 
There we go. The light's hitting this way, so it's going to be a lot softer, a lot darker on the other side. All right, see that? A little bit of medium, a little bit of your color. All right, just hit it lightly. There we go. So easy to make furs with these cats. See that? All right, let's stand back and see what we've got.